Chef, what is the ruling between a stepdaughter and a stepfather? Is it obligatory for me to raise her in an Islamic way, as like we do to our own children, beat them for not praying at the age of 10? Or will I be simple if I leave her to herself without uh, just teaching her? First of all, Islam says that when a woman gets married to another man, her children custody must be taken out or away from her and given back to her husband. This is the norm because I, as a divorced father, would not want my children to be raised up in the house of another man who's not related to my daughter, who's not related to my son. I don't know how he's going to treat them. This is the default. But in some cases, the man, the father, says, I'm okay with that. Let them stay with their mother. Or if the man is non-Muslim or he's a, uh, uh, a bad Muslim who's not fit to raise the children, we may compromise. Secondly, if the children are to be raised in your house, they have no obligation towards you. Yes, you're paying the rent and you're paying for the food. Most likely their father is paying their mom for their food and for their rent. So they're chipping in with the expenses. So they're not obliged to obey you. They're not obliged to treat you as a father. And you have no right on sh uh, uh, in shouting at them or uh, hitting them, reprimanding them. You don't have any right. You're their stepfather, that's it. You're not their real father. So, yes, you are not obliged to do on any of these things. However, it's not one size that fits all. If I have children of my wife growing up in my house, I have to be diplomatic. First of all, I have to win their hearts. So they have to have the true conviction that I love them, that I care for them like I care for my own children, and that I want the very best for them. Secondly, I have to know my limits. So just because I love them, this does not entitle me to beat them up or reprimand them as a real father. No, the real father has this power, not me. So I have to know my limits and not exceed that. Thirdly, I should not have high expectations of them obeying, the, obeying me, serving me, like I do with my children. So I know if I'm in the living room and I just do this, I would expect my children to immediately jump and say, yes, dad, would you like tissues or should I get you some coffee or do you want to drink water? What are you looking for? This is what I would be expecting from my children. I wouldn't expect that from my stepchildren. But if I get such treatment, alhamdulillah, it's a, this is a win-win. So you have to know your limits and Allah knows best. Salman